To Mercy Ridge University, round three of Erie and McDowell in baseball. This time for the District 10 6A Championship Pitcher's Duel. In this one, no score in the bottom of the fourth. Royals were flashing some leather. Eli Nicholas smothers the grounder, gets up and fires it to first for the out. Next batter, Jose Quinones gets the punch out of Connor Cross. Game remaining scoreless. Meanwhile, for the Trojans, Nick Hamilton just as sensational gets the strikeout here. He tossed a complete game one hitter. Bottom of the sixth, McDowell back to back singles to lead off the inning, but they come away empty. Gary Hills flares one to shallow right. The Royals' Mason Kindle makes a great catch. Throws the first for the inning-ending double play. Bottom of the seventh, still scoreless. Base is loaded, though. And for the Trojans, how about this? Isaac Ogredozic puts the ball in play, and that's all McDowell needed as Cross scores the winning run. McDowell takes D10 in 6A, 1-0 over the Royals to win the championship. It felt amazing. Uh, the whole game we were battling, we had great at bats, but they have one of the best pitchers in the region on the mound, so we just had to string something together. And in that last inning, we really fought, and you know, I just came in and I did my job. It was definitely a pitcher's duel. They had their best guy throwing, and then it was just, I mean, it was, I was a little nerve wracking going into that last inning without any runs. But I mean, I, I believed in us, so I, I came out and throw, threw strikes and got some outs, and then we came out and we walked it off. D10 baseball semifinals around the area. Your winners in Class A, Sagertown and West Middlesex in 2A, Lakeview and Sharpsville. Let's go to round three of Cathedral Prep and Conneaut in softball. If the Ramblers could go three for three, they'd play for the D10 4A championship. No score until the bottom of the third. Runner on in Cathedral Prep's Jenna Wagner drops a double down the right field line. Megan Kelly scores on the extra base hit. Prep leading one to nothing. Two out rally continued for the Ramblers. Maddie Simmerman delivers the RBI single to shallow center field. Reese Marie touches home. Prep up two runs. In the circle, Wagner did her job keeping Conneaut off balance as Prep beats Conneaut for a third time this year. A final of 2-1 to one to go to the D10 4A softball championship. In the opposite semi, Franklin beats Hickory 7-4 to four to advance to the D10 championship. To Penn State Barron again, earlier in the day, D10 3A softball semis. Fort LaBeouf taking on Corey. As we get to the action here in the first, Morgan Gorzinski singles and on the throw from first to third. Ball gets away. That'll allow London Davis to score for the Bison. one nothing Fort LaBeouf. Same frame, LaBeouf pitcher Kendall Stoll grounds out, but a throwing error will allow Gorzinski to score and double the lead at 2 to nothing as she comes home here from third. Ivory Rogers would come up for LaBeouf big time in this one. Here it's going to be a double off the wall to bat in another run for the Bison to put him up 3 to nothing, and she'd come through late in this one as LaBeouf stay, stays perfect. They advance, beating Corey 5-4 to four in the D10-3 semifinals. In the opposite side of the bracket, Harbor Creek taking on Jamestown at Allegheny College. Muskies win it 9-4. to four. So the D10 softball championships all set for Monday, all at the Hermitage Complex. Seneca Sharpsville at 10 a.m., Prep Franklin at 11, Iroquois in Cambridge Springs at 2, Fort LaBeouf and Jamestown at 3 p.m. Finally, D10 2A Boys Volleyball Semifinals today. Mercyhurst Prep's second playoff win in program history knocks out unbeaten Meadville in five sets while Cochran sweeps against Sagertown. 